Here's our NBA 2K23 best centers tier list. Now, I'm going to assume it changes a little bit because Will Chamberlain's dropping tomorrow, but yeah, it's okay. There's going to be three versions of Will, and now I'm going to speculate something. I don't know why I picked up a pencil for this. I'm going to speculate that we see Will right. Uh, the Amethyst Will is going to be right here and pretty damn solid. The Baby Demon probably uh, is going to be the Diamond Will, and then the Demon is probably going to be the Pink Diamond Will. Uh, we already have some pretty good centers, though, so Wilt's not exactly too exciting. But either way, that's my assumption if you're watching this after that's all dropped. So let's start off hard pass tier. Shaquille O'Neal, Randy Brewer, Mark West, Luke Longley, LaSalle Thompson, interesting, uh, and Eldon Campbell. Uh, all of these guys are back to the basket bigs who don't do anything at all special. So I don't care. <laughs> He's still decent tier. Shaquille O'Neal, Rudy Gobert, Roy Hibbert, Rick Smith, Joe Barry Carroll, Bam Adebayo, and Jakob Pertle. So these guys are actually decent enough. Uh, this Shaq is a pretty good post guy. Obviously, uh, Rudy Gobert is a pretty good defensive guy, but lacks a bit on offense. Uh, Roy Hibbert. He's kind of just decent all around besides like the shooting aspect. Uh, Rick Smith is like insanely tall, which makes it like a cheat code. And Joe Barry Carroll, again, just kind of like a Shaq kind of guy. Uh, Man Metabio, again, kind of a good all around guy besides the shooting. Um, and Jakob Pertl is just kind of like just slightly better than the guys in the bottom. So he got moved up. Um, he's not really anything crazy. It, they, like these guys are OK, but like, let's be honest, there's nothing crazy about them. Then we got our pretty damn solid here. This is where we started to get some nice guys. Rick Smith, Nikola Jokic, Dino Raja, Clint Capella, Bill Cartwright, Anthony Davis, Mark Williams, and Jalen Duran, Joel Embiid, and Bobby Portis. So there's actually some decent cards here. Rick Smith, obviously, is a better version of his Emerald, an all-around cracked guy. Now, the uh, Emerald with the Mark Jackson deal actually is better, but all-around still pretty good. Um, He's got a good midi. He's really tall. He's going to be great in the paint, and he's got some great finishing. Uh, Nikola Jokic does have a pretty awkward and kind of slow release, but the, it, he has the ability to shoot the center position which is really nice he's a good playmaker he's a good post guy and he can finish pretty all right uh dino raja has a massively long wingspan it's just a fun guy because he does have a bit of a midi again has that playmaking and that finishing ability he's a pretty decent post guy and his rebounding is great uh clint capella also has a bit of a mid-range but it's just a great defender and a really nice lob threat um and i think obviously because he's a ruby he's a bit better than some of the other guys out here but it's all around really good. Uh, Bill Cartwright surprised me. Brooke Lopez base has like an 85 mini and his money out there. And it's also a pretty good defender. I actually prefer this Bill Cartwright to the uh, Sapphire Shack that a lot of people use. And it's really because of that ability to at least hit the mid range and be a threat out there. Uh, Anthony Davis, we kind of know is pretty good threat all around and even a decent defender, uh, but nothing crazy. Uh, Mark Williams and Jalen Duran are both tall guys who are great inside and great lob threats. They can dunk, they can finish, and they can play defense and rebound. That's what they're for. Um, great evos for that and they're actually both super cheap cards as well uh which i think helps it for a lot of people that they aren't exactly too expensive um and then we got joel Embiid, who is just really well rounded the guy can shoot a bit it has a pretty nice release for a center um has a really good post game can play some defense he's just a good card and then bobby portis and now i will say i do like this bobby portis he does uh do some things that i kind of like and uh did some decent badges like bronze postman is nice silver catch and shoot and claymore really good and he has an 81 shot three with his bobby portis jumper which is pretty good only problem that i have with it is that it's a little bit slow so i couldn't move him up anything higher but it's still really fun um then for our baby demons here we have zojunas ogowskis tyson chandler rudy gobert joel and b joe kim noah the kemba matumbo deandre jordan bill walton bill russell andrea barniani and andre jumman this is the most non-shooting centers you will see in the top lists probably all year because so Junior Zagalskis, he's great. He's a slow though. That's the problem. Uh, Big Z is a great post guy, like a massive player in the paint um, and a really good shooter as well. He is just insanely slow. So sometimes you can get burnt out there, which I don't love, but still a pretty good guy. Tyson Chandler and Rudy Gobert, I kind of view as one of the same. These guys have Hall of Fame anchor, which in my opinion is the best defensive badge in the entire game. If you have Hall of Fame anchor and you know how to time blocks, you actually can play some really good paint defense right now because Hall of Fame anchor is essentially Intimidator and a Rim Protector mixed together into one badge. It is crazy good. Um, and both these guys are great at it and are great finishers. Uh, Tyson Chandler is a bit better offensively than Rudy Gobert is, but Gobert is a bit better defensively. Uh, Joel Embiid is just a slightly better version of his Ruby, which is why he got the nod up. Just a little bit better of a shoot, a little bit better here, a little bit better there, just a little bit better. Uh, Joe Kim Noah is great, uh, but kind of an awkward jumper. The default small jumper is not what I'm a fan of. It's a little bit slow but he is a great finisher he is pretty good for the mid-range if you can get the jumper down and his defense and playmaking are all really really good for a center so he still gets the nod for me to give him a bit about obviously not really going to bring it too much on the offensive end but I, I swear to god he's the best defensive center in the entire game right now the guy is absolutely insane uh deandre jordan just another one of those 
I'm going to dunk on you and you really don't have an option. And his uh, defense is actually crazy. And I've actually seen some people pretty consistent from the free throw line with him as well. So go DeAndre Jordan. Um, and then Bill Walton is one of those guys who's traditionally a little bit undersized normally because he's only 6'11 playing the center. Uh, but right now it's actually a pretty good size. And he's a really good playmaker and really good finisher. Great as like uh, get it to the post, try to do a few moves and then kick out for some threes. Really, really muddy. And I love those kind of play styles for Bill Walton. Uh, Bill Russell, another one of those. We kind of know what he does. Defense, dunking. You, you, you get the gym. Uh, Andrea Bargnani, arguably the best shooting center in the entire game right now. Guy has crazy Hall of Fame badges when it comes to shooting. Uh, just an all-around beast. And then Andre Drummond, as you would expect, is a guy who's going to be dunking, finishing, all that sort of stuff, and playing defense and getting boards. It's Andre Drummond. You know what he does. He plays the exact same way in 2K until he gets like a pink diamond at the end of the year for some reason. That's super juice, but still kind of sucks anyway. And then last but not least, we got the Demon Steer, which has Pau Gasol, Kevin McHale, DeMarcus Cousins, Ben Wallace, Arvita Sabonis, and Alonzo Mourning. So Pau Gasol surprised me. I'm not going to lie. This guy's crazy good all around. He can play make it great for you. His post game is money. His finishing is great. He can shoot. His jumper is on slow, but he can still shoot. Has like an 81 shot three. And he's a pretty solid all-around defender, even on the outside as well, as being able to play the power forward position so you can run two centers at the same time. I think this Pau Gasol is super slept on. I don't really see too much height for him, but is actually a crazy, crazy, crazy good center and not really that expensive if I'm remembering correctly. Next, Kevin McHale. This guy it might be one of the better centers in the entire game right now. I just want to... Um, Make sure I'm getting everything right on him. Has the uh, Sengun jumper, which is obviously the same as Sengun. Crazy, right? Um, 6'10", so maybe a little undersized, but that 7'11 wingspan is crazy. Has Hall of Fame post spin, drop zipper, and dream shake, so he is a beast inside. Has gold catch and shoot with an 83 shot three, so you know you're going to be money. Has gold needle thudder and Hall of Fame post playmaker with Hall of Fame anchor, challenger, interceptor, and Metis. I mean, the guy is crazy, and even silver clamps as well. Just an all-around beast. DeMarcus Cousins is kind of here just because he's, again, a really good post guy, which means he's great inside. He's an all-right defender, and his shooting is crazy, crazy, crazy good. Uh, ben Wallace, I kind of put up here just because I personally think that this Ben Wallace plays better than some of the, like, um, other centers in there because his uh, again finishing and post game are really good and the defense is still there being absolutely insane with that amazing Hall of Fame anchor badge. Um, Arvita Sabonis may be my favorite center right now that I'm kind of sad that I don't think I get, uh, but I could be wrong uh, because Arvita Sabonis seven three seven six wingspan ninety two shot three with the Trevor Ariza jumper then has the Hall of Fame catch and shoot Claymore and corner rise up drop step for a dimer and needle threader along with brick wall and has gold anchor as well it does suffer the same fate as Ojuna Zogowskis where he's really slow but I think the extra playmaking the extra finish the just extra everything on Arvidas makes him just slightly better than Big Z but if you were looking for a shooting center I think your best two options are probably Arvidas so Drunas when it comes to the trophy case cards and then last but not least is Alonzo Mourning who does have the Shaquille O'Neal jumper which is um you know, not amazing, but is probably the best post finisher in the game right now. Aerial Wizard, Back Down Punisher, Dream Shake, Job Stepper, Masher, and Post Spin Technician all in Hall of Fame with Gold Bully, Fearless, and Post Riser. That's just crazy inside. And then he also has Hall of Fame Anchor and Pick Dodger, which is great. Gold Glove and Interceptor, so he's all around great defensively and has an 85 speed. So even though he's 6'10", he's going to be super fast with that 7'6 wingspan and I think going to be an all around really, really good court for a lot of people that some are sleeping on. But obviously, I think there's some better options he's still just absolutely amazing though so let me know what you guys think about the center's tier list down in the comment section below like it if you did enjoy and subscribe if you are new to the channel or maybe if i post this on tiktok hit the follow button you know what i want stuff hope you have a great day and i will see you in the next video